Hi, I'm Malcolm from Escape Artist Media. Last year I filmed a quick demo video for a company called Viroforce. Their technology takes ozone and humidity and combines it to kill, to disinfect viruses and bacteria more than 99.99% in any given space. With all the talk this year about swine flu, I found myself thinking about Viroforce and I wondered whether, how their technology would uh, match up against this H1N1 virus. I talked to their director about it and he invited me to come to Vancouver, Canada to sit down with their chief scientific officer, Dr. Jim Hudson. My name is Jim Hudson and I'm a professor at uh, University of British Columbia, Vancouver. A retired professor, Professor Emeritus. And I'm also a director and chief scientific officer of the Viroforce Systems Incorporated Company. Well, of course, the one that's on everybody's mind right now, the, the organism that's on everybody's mind, of course, is swine flu. And uh, I mean, I could, I could talk for hours on, on swine influenza because influenza is one of the viruses I've done a fair amount of work on over the years, and it's a fascinating virus. Humans can contact them either through aerosols or through contact with uh, physical surfaces and um, gets inside the, uh, the nose and the respiratory system and can then cause disease, especially in individuals who are, again, immune compromised or people who just can't fight off the infection. Yeah. So it can be very, very serious. There's not much alternative uh, uh, treatment that really works properly. In the case of uh, hospitals, for example, and other healthcare facilities, the standard method is a manual uh, treatment of uh, affected surfaces with bleach and things like that. And for that purpose, they, the operator has to wear appropriate clothing, protective clothing, masks, maybe goggles, goes in there with the, uh, with the bleach or whatever, scrubs everything clean. This is a very, um, very labor-intensive uh, occupation. It's potentially dangerous. Uh, the, the odors from these kind of chemicals can be noxious, especially for some people. And the other thing is there's no guarantee that you've uh, completely done the job because it depends on manual labor. And the, the, the other alternative mechanism, that's, um, you know, treatment that's available on the market nowadays is you can get hold of certain liquid sprays, such as a hydrogen peroxide spray. Uh, so, and what you do there is you, you cordon off the territory, you make sure everybody's off the premises, and then you, you prepare the room beforehand and then you bring in the equipment which sprays this liquid all over the room. And uh, since it's a, it's a liquid spray, even though it may be called an aerosol or a nebulized thing, it's still liquid. And so there is a limitation on the penetration of those kind of compounds because it's not a gas and so it can't penetrate in the same way that a gas can. And so you're still limited really to decontaminating hard solid surfaces. If you think you may have an infection in the drapes or in the carpet or things like that, you may not get rid of everything with these liquid sprays. They're just not that efficient. The optimal way of carrying out the procedure is to get the ozone up to this critical level of, um, depending on the cycle, depending to some extent on the organism, 20 to 25 parts per million, and all the organisms inside the room come into contact with that, exp with that ozone then the humidity is brought into action. And this happens very quickly within a few minutes. So then you've got this combined effect of the ozone and the high humidity. And the combination of the two is, is what does a really efficient job and will just kill things by, uh, you know, by several orders of magnitude. You can kill more than 99.99% of the actual virus. We've, I mean, we've actually tested a, a wide range of uh, soft materials, and we've actually uh, done this experimentally with uh, samples of virus and bacteria inoculated into these soft surfaces. And it works, uh, the ozone works just as well as it does on the dry, solid surfaces. The unique features of Viroforce are, first of all, it's, it's a gas. And this gives it all the attributes, all the benefits of having a gas, namely the penetration. And it, <clears throat> because it can penetrate any crack, crevice, fixture in a room. You know, nothing is, is, no place is safe from ozone once you get it into the room. You know. So that's one big advantage of it. Uh, the other thing, of course, is the fact that it's made from, from the existing air and it's converted back into oxygen in the air. 
And so we're not using any chemicals, we're not using any resources. The only other material that's used is the water that's used in the humidification tank. We know that if we can duplicate the conditions which we've set to be optimal, uh, then every time this is done, we know it will kill more than 99.99% of these viruses, these bacteria, these moles, and so forth. You know, repeatedly, over and over again, we've demonstrated that, that will happen. So it's just a matter of the critical level, yes. the humidity, and then it'll kill yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. And the machine itself tells me whether I've reached that critical Exactly. Level? The machine has a complete um, printout of everything that's happened. And the information is automatically stored in the little computer that's in the machine, too. Yes. So this machine and a gallon of water with no other chemicals yes, yeah. can kill up to 99.99% of these different viruses. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we've demonstrated that. I mean, it's, uh, this is not just uh, supposition. I mean, you know, we've shown that repeatedly over and over again. And, uh, and as you know, the, uh, the results that we've got have been published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. So, uh, you know, it's, there's no questioning that.